Um, first off, just with the extent of the damage we're seeing as a result of the severe storms early this morning. Uh, yes, we had a series of violent storms come through the state both last night and this morning. Um, winds were upwards of 50, 60 miles per hour in some places. Uh, we have seen uprooted trees. We have seen um, broken poles. We have approximately 400 down wires across the state right now as a result of the storm. So it, it was uh, Mother Nature really packed a punch today. We were reporting 140,000 people without power this morning. How many people at the peak were without power? What what areas were affected the most? Um, I'm going to have to get back to you on the peak. I'm sorry. I don't have that information. Um, but I can tell you that the hardest hit area uh, right now is Kent County with about 50,000 customers out, followed by Allegan and Ottawa counties with uh, 12,000 and about 10,000 customers out respectively in those counties. Okay. And then when will power be restored to all customers? So right now we're still, um, we are out repairing, but we are also assessing damage. And um, we've had such widespread damage throughout the state, as I said, you know, uprooted trees, lightning strikes that have damaged equipment, that sort of thing. We even had one of our own employees on our team that um, was injured when a tree came down on her roof and she was injured uh, early this morning. So um, it, it's been a bad storm. We hope to have uh, restoration um, times by mid-afternoon today, but we do know that this is going to be a multi-day restoration effort. Okay, and you have crews on the ground then surveying and repairing already this morning? Absolutely, and we've called in our contractor crews to assist us as well. Um, I do have some safety messages if you would like to work those in. Yeah, that would be great. What, yeah, the safety recommendations that you have. So, you know, obviously this is uh, such a hot time. We haven't had such a hot temperature um, month in, in several years. So we are concerned about people without electricity being able to stay cool. Um, we would urge you to stay hydrated and try to look for a cool place to stay. If you don't have one, um, you can call 211 and they can connect you to temporary cooling shelters in your area. Um, you know, and, and if you're able, you might, you know, go see a movie, go to the mall, or perhaps you have a, a relative that is, um, that does have power that you could go stay with, but we want you to stay safe and stay, um, as cool as possible and stay hydrated, keep yourself stay safe. We would ask you to look in on, uh, friends, relatives, neighbors that might be elderly or have some kind of, perhaps they might be ill. You know, it would be great if we could check in on them and make sure that they're doing okay. Um, also, you know, as I said, we have hundreds of down wires right now, so we want you to be very cautious. If you're out cleaning up after the storm, be very cognizant of the fact that there could be downed wires mixed in with debris. If you think you see a downed wire, don't touch it. Don't touch anything associated with it. Stay 25 feet away and call 911 to report it, and we'll be out to make it safe. Um, again, also, um, we know that a lot of people will be using generators. Uh, we just would urge that you do so safely. Never use them in an attached garage, a basement, or any kind of enclosed area. Um, we don't want any kind of carbon monoxide problems to develop. And uh, if you're not using them properly, that can occur. And finally, I would just say, you know, our crews are going to be out and about both day and night working in and along roadways. So please uh, watch out for them. And if you do see them, please uh, slow down and go around them safely and slowly. Okay, absolutely. And you mentioned um, the crews that are out there. How many crews do you have on the ground for this cleanup and restoration? Yeah, I will have a better idea of all that um, early this afternoon. As I said, we're still assessing um, and we're calling in as many crews as we can and contractors. So this afternoon we'll have a news release about 4.30 and we should have much more of that information. Perfect. And I'll make sure that you guys get it. Uh, I just, we're still... Um, you know, figuring all that out at this time. No, absolutely. I appreciate you providing the information that you do have. My last question, the second wave of storms that expect is expected later today. What are your guys' plans for those? 
yeah, we, we know that they're coming um, and we are uh, gearing up for those. But, um, you know, we'll just have to see. They do look like they are going to bring some damaging winds as well. So it could extend our restoration times. It could possibly add to um, our list of customers who are already without service. So we're watching them. We're prepared. And we'll be out as soon as possible after the storm is passed to start uh, making assessments and repairs. Right. And we, we really appreciate our customers' patience, particularly when it's so warm out. Um, you know, we know it, there's never a good time to be without electricity, but we appreciate your patience. We will be working, you know, as I said, 24-7 to try and get people restored, and we want them to stay safe uh, while we're doing so.